Yo, what's up guys? I want to give a shout out to EA Sports for paying for my trip to Orlando and allowing me to capture some early footage of Madden 17. And not just Madden 17, this is Mutt, baby. Mutt 17. Look at the stars about to take the field. Vaughn Miller, Antonio Brown, Sherm, Gronk, the cover athlete, Julio Jones, Le'Veon Bell. And if that wasn't enough star power, our opponent for the day... I never we're going against mad does it get any better than this now before we hop into the gameplay I want to point out that this is not the final version of mutt that we played So some of the card art some of the overalls and stuff like that might not be the final version But this is gameplay and this is Aaron Rodgers getting knocked down as We're trying to throw that ball right there second down running the ball with Latavius Murray and our offense is stacked We don't have a good running back, but we have a bunch of great receivers even our second string tight end Jared Cook getting the catch right there on third down just taking a Mav is giving us in there. It was Jared Cook for the first down, and that was almost an interception. Trying to get to one of our star receivers, Alshon Jeffrey. We also have Antonio Brown, maybe the best receiver today. We have T.Y. Hilton in the slot. Third down and three, passing the ball. Looking downfield for Brown. It's up, and it's picked off. What a play by the defense, and you got to make sure you don't put yourself in position to give up tip drill interceptions like that. As you guys see, he's rolling out. He's got all the time, and now he's got Julian Edelman. Picking up the block and picking up the touchdown. One play and he makes us pay immediately. That hurt, man. That hurt. But like I was saying, even though it looked like Antonio Brown might have a chance to get that ball, sometimes you just can't throw that and put yourself in position to give up a play like that. As Antonio Brown is going to get the answer. Trading touchdowns back and forth. This time, Brown doing his little sizzle dance after burning the defense. As we get a big hit right there on special teams. He's running the ball with Le'Veon Bell. His offense was scary as well. He had Gronk, as you guys saw, Le'Veon and Todd Gurley in the Backfield is he trying to put on moves with Le'Veon with this new ball carrier moves as you guys see. He was definitely um, trying to run the ball a lot. De definitely trying to pound the rock and force that on us, force us to respect that, and then let that open up the passing game. But third down and seven here. He's not going to get the first down. End of the first quarter, and now a big fourth down decision. He is going for it, throwing it, fighting, but not getting the first down. Donta Hightower. Fighting and stopping him behind the sticks. Great play by the defense. And you guys are gonna be seeing a theme, man. Defense is real this year. I'm, I'm not, I'm not saying this just to say it. Like I'm playing this game, and it is so hard to score. It is so hard to produce drives. As you guys see, that was a little bit of a risky pass, but just the magic of having Antonio Brown on your team allows us to get a gain of seven. Latavius Murray almost gets us the first down right there. Gonna bring up a big third down in inches. We come out passing Murray again, trying to get in the end zone. At least he gets us. The the first down right there at the one yard line should be manageable to get looking for Brown to cap the drive off but Mavs got some stingy goal line defense and that continues on second down Rodgers goes nowhere third down finally we answered a bell and we get ourselves six and we have ourselves a nice lead right now as you guys see he's returning the kick in getting into about the 20 something yard line a little tip for you guys when you guys are playing man 17 remember the kickoff if you take a fair catch he's at the 25 this year in the NFL not the 20 so you know, Mav could easily just stop right there and got a few extra yards by doing nothing, right? And, you know, fum um, risking fumbling the ball or something like that. But if you want to return it, obviously, you know, you're free to do whatever. Under a minute left before half, he throws the screen right here. Doesn't get the first down. Now another big third down and short situation. Looking to throw. Got time. And he finds a man in the middle of the field. Great pass. Calls a timeout. First of three timeouts with 30-something seconds left. And on the next play, forget the timeouts. Sammy Watkins is here to tie it all up at four. 14 apiece. This is shaping up to be quite the game. We're going to have one heck of a second half, but before that, we want to score some more points. Maybe a field goal, but we definitely shot ourselves in the foot. Like I said, easily could have just, you know, fair caught it right there, but I tried to do something cool with Antonio Brown. Got the ball to the 7-yard line and pretty much killed any chance we have of scoring any points right here. Matt's just going to play some stingy, you know, give us the flats defense right there. Tyler Eifert can get that, whatever he wants, but, um, it's going to end that time nonetheless. We're just going to run the ball one more time. See if Murray can do something. Trying to break a tackle right here. Still trying to get used to these new ball carrier moves right here. Running the, the running game this year is totally different. You got to get like all those shoot moves and stuff like that you can hit before. It's totally different, all right? So maybe before you guys play an online game, as you guys seen Le'Veon Bell eating up to start the second half. Might want to get in practice mode and practice some of your ball carry moves. So this stuff um, is definitely different. You guys see Todd Gurley right here running the ball back. 
back-to-back -back possessions, and he's getting good gains both times. Gurley's rushing well. Le'Veon's rushing well. This is going to open up the passing game. That's going to get Edelman involved. That's going to get Gronk involved. This guy, he tries fullback diving right there, but he gets swallowed up. Big third down and short. He's been having these all game long, but he doesn't convert that one. Eric Weddle makes him pay for putting his hands in the cookie jar. Unfortunately, that run goes nowhere. That lose four yards on that. That hurts. Second down, Rodgers using his mobility he's known for and getting a nice gain, escaping the pocket when nothing was open. Third down and manageable. Rodgers looking brown. Broken up right there. Once again, defense continuing to be stingy in this one. We punt the ball right there. No risking going for it right there. We'll try to, you know, continue trusting our defense, but Matt has had success running the ball. It's really when he's passing the ball that, you know, we're starting to burn him, but you know, when he's rushing the ball, he's mostly getting what he wants. You guys see he's 9 for 11 passing right here, but that do is with a couple of mistakes. You guys see Gurley getting not too much right there. We're looking at the clock, 3.33 left in the game, and that's a big play right there to Julian Edelman as he runs the ball with Bell. Like I said, we're watching that clock. It's a tie game, and he has a chance to bleed the rest of this thing out, and that's definitely going to help. Gets the first down and stayed in bounds, so the clock continues to run out as Von Miller almost gets the big tackle right there, and that play is going to take Take us to the two minute warning. Looking to get a stop. Looking to hold Matt to a field goal or a mistake. Le'Veon Bell runs the ball and gets rocked right there. The play of the game. Third down and six. What's the decision? He's got Rivers. He's handing the ball off to Bell. Bell fighting. Bell just gets the first down. And now we have to start calling our timeouts. One first down could end it. Le'Veon Bell up the middle. Almost gets a touchdown. Brought down at the one yard line. He's going to QB sneak it in for the lead. He could have tried to kill a little bit more clock, but he decided I'm taking my sure seven and I'm trusting my defense. We'll see how that works. Aaron Rodgers loses it and in one play, the defense rewards him. T Sizzle might have ended the game on that recovery. Oh, but the ball is loose. Le'Veon Bell might have saved the day. Von Miller almost made a superhuman effort to turn this game back around, but with nine seconds left, he just runs the ball and Le'Veon Bell, a field goal, which is not a sure thing this year, does go through two possession game three seconds left that is the ball game unfortunately Rodgers will one more play this is not going to affect the outcome this is the ball game as he actually recovers our little lateral attempt right there so shout out to Matt definitely a good game fun game definitely got to you know work on our craft a little bit right there we um had a few cracks on the defensive end and then uh, offensively we might have had to make a quicker read Rodgers got sacked right there but um like I said good game to Matt leave a like on this video if you guys enjoyed it if you guys want to see more Madden 17 hit that like button Promise you guys I'll get you some more, right? Subscribe for more if you guys want to see more. You know, that's the way to do it. And I'll catch you guys next time.